What's going on, guys? I hope you are having a great week. Coach Sap or Warren Sap is a difference maker. Somebody or some people did not want Coach Warren Sap to step one foot on the campus of Colorado, and I think I know some of the reasons why. Better yet, I would say Coach Prime knew that Coach Sap was a secret weapon, and he wanted him helping these young men out, and I think I know why. I don't know if I want to call this one a reaction video, or I just want to love on Coach Sap for a little bit in this video, or I just want to tell the fan base to be excited about the fact that we have Coach Sapp right now on the campus and doing what he's doing. But I want to give you my thoughts on the impact that Coach Sapp is making on his team. Before I do that, guys, let's just do it tell you who we are around here. You can't shame us because of this. BWB, bandwagon bus, that's right. It's your man's Harry Billion. Please do me a favor and smash that subscribe button. Make sure to give me the thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so that you can get the videos as soon as I upload it to YouTube. YouTube. All right, family, I got to go ahead and get into this video real quick. So that's all the business I got. You know what time it is. Let's work. So welcome back. Let me show you this clip real quick, and then I'll give you my perspective on Coach Sapp's impact. Let's go. There we go, 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 there we go. You see that face right there? <laughs> that face means I see something special. There's something special going on. Did you see that? This is what that face is explaining to you. Like, ooh, oh, that was special. That was special right there. Oh, there you go, there you go, there you go. Hey, what else do I You see, you see. I like Coach Sapp being on this team, man. Coach Prime got his guy. We often talk about the gold jacket. We talk about how important that gold jacket is. Having coaches that have previously played in the game of football, there's a difference. But when you get somebody like Coach Sapp, when you get somebody like Warren Sapp and you see that energy, the way that he's taking his job seriously, he's taking his job personal. He's motivating these young men. He's in there like his playing days again. Even though he got that dad bod, he's lost a lot of weight, but you can tell he's still got that dad bod. He's in the trenches and he's motivating these young men, letting them know, do it this way. Do it that way. Giving them high five, slapping them on the butt like, yeah, man, you're doing a good job. Look at that. Look at the energy. He's right there. He's in there because he knows. He's played the position and he knows what it is, how to throw your arm, what to do to knock down the arm, how to swing your arm, how to bring your arms up or down. I'm excited about Coach Sapp being on his team. He understands what these young men are going through. He's been through this stuff himself. He knows what he needed to hear and he knows what they need to hear. That's important. This is why we were so excited excited to see him this is why we were so anticipative we couldn't wait to get him at cu it's because it makes a little bit of a difference when you get a coach that have played the position that is excitable coach sap is that makes a difference in the young men's heart mind spirit and soul our defense is going to be special for this i told you in another video that this kind of thing could mean one or two more games that we win somebody who has the experience somebody who really understands the intricacies of the defense understands the position and can get in there with the young men and let them know whether they're doing something correctly and then correct it. Obviously, that's what coaches are supposed to do, but I feel like Coach Sapp brings a different element to it. Our defense struggled a lot last year, all right? It's not that we didn't have defensive coaches that could do the job, but I feel like Coach Sapp is going to make a difference. He's a difference maker. You're going to see the difference in these young men's attitude. Their attitude had to change. Their mindset had to change. The way that they approached the game had to change. Sometimes it boils down or it comes down to the the nitty gritty, the little things, those minor things, and it could be just mindset. When that other team matches your skill set or that other university matches your height, your weight, what is left? Your tenacity, your drive, your will to win, losing being your enemy, understanding that I'm not losing. That usually comes from your leaders. That energy starts way before the season starts. It starts with your coaches. The coaches giving you what you need to be ready for game days. You can tell how these young men are flying around around this field, you can tell that energy is different. Coach Sapp is bringing something that we did not see in the first year. These young men are taking this stuff personal and I didn't see them taking it personal last year. Yeah, they have all their issues in the classroom and they got all these things going on that we're seeing, but there's something that's telling you that these young men are gonna take this season serious and they're gonna put up some W's because that defense is gonna give Shador that ball back very fast. You can bookmark this video that this defense that you're looking at right now is gonna cause a lot of three and out. Our offense is gonna get the ball
ball back. Now, the offense got to do what they got to do because last year when the offense got the ball back at a certain point in the season, they didn't do anything with it. But that's going to change also so that during the season, you can come back to it in the comments and you can say, Harry B, you was right. Or you can say, Harry B, you was dead wrong. And I'll either have to eat my words and say, you know what? My bad, you was right. Or I'm going to say, hey, that's right. Colorado got it like that. We're going to have to do some chest pumping around here because the detractors and the haters, they've had the microphone for a minute. But when we keep telling y'all that there's something special about this year, there is something special about this year. And y'all going to see how special it is. Y'all going to have to give Coach Prime his respect. Y'all going to have to give us our respect. Those of us who knew early, who could tell that there was something special about this team. Y'all going to have to give us our respect, like straight up. And as you can see through the practices, through the scrimmages, things are looking up and up. And I'm excited about that Colorado football. And I hope you excited too. But I'm going to have to leave this video right there. I'll see you guys in the comments. Get it? See you in the comments and on the next video. Okay.